Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. Just uh, briefly want to mention that Blackmagic Design just announced a new camera in the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema series. Uh, it's called the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K G2. Uh, those of you who know, I updated to the 6K Pro from the 1DX Mark II a couple of months ago. Uh, it's been my primary video camera for now. And yeah, I've been doing a lot of video work with the 6K Pro and I've been learning DaVinci Resolve side by side as well. I've switched from Premiere Pro directly to DaVinci Resolve now. It's been my primary video editing software for a while. I've been absolutely enjoying Blackmagic RAW. Uh, it's quite flexible from what I've uh, seen myself. So Blackmagic also announced uh, the update for the Pocket Cinema series. Uh, the update is 7.9 and it introduces a whole new user interface. And there's something interesting that I heard in the video that I'm about to show you guys that they mentioned that the Pocket Cinema series has a secret feature to my cameras also record gyro data. They also announced that DaVinci Resolve is gonna get in the software update that DaVinci is gonna be using the gyro data and to stabilize your footage even better than the original uh, stabilization in the software. So that's pretty good news to me. Play the video for you right now. Camera software update. It's called Blackmagic Cameras 7.9 and it supports the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, 6K and 6K Pro models. Now we've worked really hard on this update um, the most important change is probably the user interface has been redone. It's been totally upgraded. Uh, but it also includes lots of small improvements. Um, there's a slider now for adjusting focus assist intensity. And that's great when you're working with lenses that have different frequency responses. Uh, you can now select between SD and SSD media on the um, cards from the LCD, like just by pushing the button on the LCD itself. Uh, the color of the frame guides can be changed. Uh, there's actually improvements to the lens control. Um, even the autofocus has been improved. Plus, there's actually a cool secret feature that's been hiding in these pocket cameras, and we've never really used it until now. Now, all these cameras actually have a gyro sensor built in, and all three models have it. So now you can record data from the gyro sensor into the Blackmagic RAW file. And we'll actually have an update for DaVinci Resolve really soon that'll actually use that gyro data. Plus, the Blackmagic RAW developer SDK has also been updated to support that. But what's exciting is Blackmagic, uh, sorry, DaVinci can use this gyro data to stabilize shots, and it makes the stabilizer much better. Um, so what it'll do is it'll stabilize the footage using some new AI-based algorithms as well as the gyro data. And it actually it kind of looks like a bit like a Steadicam when you, you know, see the result clip. So you can see this is a shot, originally it was a handheld shot. Um, and you can see that you know, it's got a bit of wobble in it and, um, and now we'll cut to a stabilized version of the shot in a second and there's a the stabilized version. Um, now the camera is actually storing the movement data as, metadata, as a metadata track in the Blackmagic RAW file. And then the stabilizer can use that data. So you can see that shot there. And this again is another uh, original shot that's handheld. And then you'll see that uh, coming up is then we've applied the stabilizer to it. And you can then see the stabilized version there it is there. And it's, this looks really nice. It's just, it's so nice. It's really cool. It's just really like, uh, just beautiful. I mean, having that stabilization data is really nice. So yeah, I'm super excited. And uh, I also have some other interesting news, but um I guess that's like for another video if I ever even decide to like share this but yeah um thank you for watching uh, I hope you found, found this information useful and I'll catch you in the next one